hello everyone i am in my studio today and i'm about to do my big 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 swipes shelly style so let me just introduce myself i think i haven't done any introduction videos so my name is jigna i live in uk and i've been pouring from last one year but i'm not much on youtube till few months ago i thought let me just um get going with it i started the youtube channel in um july august time don't exactly remember but i just did few of the videos and i'm just not not very really video person so yeah um so now i thought let me just get going with it uh this video is going to be long one because i, I will go through with all the recipes what i use what my mixing what available here what i use in shelly's um, bloom technique so bear, bear with me uh, let's start so first we mix the paint so what i have got i am planning to do three one side so i have got first in blue here cobalt blue and sky blue all arpeggio and this one is the Pebbio high viscosity um, evidence one uh, green and blue which changes color the whatever direction you look for so I'm loving it actually so there's four going together one side and on this one I have got deep yellow orange yellow and vermilion red the old Arteza as well and this one got gold so they're all going together so I'm going to mix with my pouring medium is um, just get, My pouring medium is this is what I use that's Wasper Tread Gloss Base C. It's written here, I think you can see it. It says Base C here. Um, that it was I used, I bought it from BQ, and this is how it looks it's quite milky. That's how it looks. So I'm going to mix up and um, I'm using these pots today because I run out my old pots or the pots has got the paint on it. So what I do first, I saw it mixed up, let's start with this one first. So I've got a yellow. I'm using quite a lot of paint doing big canvas so I will need quite a lot of pen paint so we got this much and to be honest I don't measure my pouring medium to my um, paint what's the ratio I use for I you when I started I used to use it but since then I stopped doing that I just eyeball it and I just check what consistency I'm looking for. So let's have a look on this one. If I need more, I'm going to add more. I will definitely need more in this one. This is quite thick. So I don't um, measure my paint first, so 
no point measuring it's quite flowy but I do want a little bit thinner than this one This one is much better. I need a little bit more. So this is how I just go for it. I just eyeball it what's needed and I add more if it requires. Since it's a big canvas, I don't want to just do, do a little bit at a time. So that's how I just go for it. I just eyeball it what's Need it and I add more if it requires. Since it's a big canvas, I don't want to just do, do a little bit at a time instead of just doing, and I can, anyway, it's left over I can use again for my other pole. So And our better paint is quite thicker than any, it's quite heavy body paints. Yeah. See how it's coming up from the stick. This is what we need for bloom. So this is how I'm going to, I'll do all the, mix all the paints and see. That's what I prefer to go for. So this is all our mix now. So I've got my blues here, my red, yellow and orange there, and that's the Pebio Evidence one. They're mixed up as well. That's blue and green. And this one is gold here. So I do. Now, the cell activator. So for cell activator, I use the Amsterdam um, Oxide Black or the titanium white with Floatrol this is Australian Floatrol this is really works well with blooms so I'm going to pull my white Let's see how it goes if I need more I'll add some more I'm making quite a lot. I might need a little bit more um, paint in it. Uh, by the way, this is the thinnest one I use than all other um, things in the bloom, like um, the paints that we just mixed up is thicker than this one. Need to, it does need definitely need paint. So I add a little bit more paint to this. I don't know what is in uh, Australian floor which makes the lacing in the cells, but this is the only thing works without any tricks. But it's so expensive to get in other countries than Australia. It cost me 70, 79 dollars I had to pay dollars Australian dollars and three of these bottles um 500 milliliter and I still have to pay 10 pound on the top to release from the custom 
You need a tiny bit more. So I make quite a lot here. But I do need them a lot as well. And if it's left over, I can use them at a time anyway. My paint never goes to waste. <laughs> Better. Bring a little bit mixing. Uh, I'm going to do now the black one. Not black one. Same way we're doing as I done the white. So here, this is what my consistency for. Um, I like to do it too. You can see, see how it is thinner than the paint I've mixed up. I smell white. And this is my black. So this was already I uh, stayed last night. I went to do it. So can have look how thick it is. So that was that's what I use. So let's start now. So that's my pillow. All the paints are already here. Mix with this pouring medium. These all are here from this gold. Right up till up there. Um, then the cell activator. Cell activator is black and white mix with this floor troll. I am using the biggest canvas so I'm, I'm, and I'm going to have a trouble. And this is was I'm hoping to get it done. I know it won't be perfect but I just want to give it a go on a big canvas. That's the reason why I am doing this. So this one is 39.4 by 19.7 inches, um, 100 by 50 centimeter. So it's quite huge. It's a box canvas. So let's start. Here I'm back uh, doing, I just uh, put the push pins at the back of the canvas to hold the canvas, to dry the cup and this is quite heavy and big canvas so you couldn't hold it so, so I put those pins to hold the canvas up. So the first thing need to do put some pillow which I already showed you which I'm going to use so this is a bit tricky okay so pillow first get the pillow up here this is canvas is taking over my 
cable. It's a bit, a bit difficult to pull uh, the pillow. Start with um, enough. Need a tiny bit more. Maybe just one tiny bit. much about it so the first is going to be yellow so I'm going for my yellow any more digesters. What I do, the gold one, I'm just going to go just like, like this. One more time, I'm going to go with the torch. So, I like this bubbles here. Let me just go with this quite a bit so I can just use the Two 
lip tone. This is what it looks. Okay, the next step, I'm using black on this one. So, or some of my red came out there. So that's my cell activator, black. Just, I am going, um, let me just start from the other side so you can see it. Time to swipe. So I'll swipe this one first and I'll, then I do other sides. So I am just touching my black. I can make sure it touch and then I'm going to slowly drag all the way down just like this i'm not going to do anything else now the next side so i just folded this one so using the same one Let the put all the weight down and then slowly drag it down. Let's try it again. Don't like things like that, but can't do anything else. So let's start again here. I'm going to fold that one. I can see quite a lot of black there. And I can just try to fill that gap if I can. Yeah, that looks okay. And just fold it. The next one is let's go this way. Maybe a little bit. Should I leave it or do it? Or might I just leave it and see how it goes? Okay, so that this side done now. Now I need to flip the canvas, which is going to be red tricky, quite heavy. Round. So let me just put the pillow back on. That's I want to do it later on. But this time. 
time I am going to go with the top bit first. So this is the darkest one on top. It's like a little bit purplish, but it, it is blue. going the same way up with the gold there I'm going the same way on the here as well I'm using this one it's a bit messed up here but when we told it might you never know what will happen so This is what I don't like when it doesn't touch there. Thank <laughs> you. 